So this is our Run for God meeting. We are in week four of the Run for God 5K Challenge. It's a 12-week program that pairs uh, training for a 5K with a Bible study. There is a lot of running education because we are um, catering to new runners, so I'm trying to balance making sure that they're getting the education they need as they get into running, but also um, making sure that we're getting into the Bible and into Scripture and um, using that to kind of guide the process as well. So I decided to participate in Run for God because I had never run before. I I wanted to learn the basics of running. I also had some unexpected health issues and thought it would be a good idea to um, start running. It's definitely been um, an experience. I've met lots of people. Once you get going and you're halfway through it, you're like, okay, I can do this. And you have little um, obstacles you want to beat. And then when you set that goal and you beat it, it's kind of really exciting. <laughs> I've had about 40 signed up. Um, we've had about 30 uh, consistently at each meeting. Tonight we have a physical therapist coming to talk about some injury prevention um, and just ways that we can make sure that all of the runners are doing this safely and staying healthy while they're doing it. At this point our meetings consist of a devotion discussion time in the beginning, then we have a little bit of an education portion and then we go out for our group run. One thing I've learned so far is that I can go further when I think I can, that endurance is important, that even if you think that you've hit your limit, that you can keep on going. Relying on the faith and, and on God to get me through it and the experiences that I've had to deal with. Um, surrounding myself with people that support you um, in a positive manner and not a negative manner, that's exactly what this class is. So we are aiming for the um, Freedom 5K, which is here in Lima on the 4th of July. So it's a really big race, lots of high energy, so it's an exciting race, and so we're excited to just be a part of it um, with all of our new runners. I've only been a runner really for a few years myself, and um, as I've gotten into running, I've learned that there are a lot of ways that running parallels um, faith and the dedication that it takes to follow Christ and um, lead a Christian life, and so it was just something that God put on my heart to, um, to bring to Lima and bring to Lima Community Church.